Okay, we're doing three point perspective now. So whereas one point perspective you had uh, one point or one vanishing point where the lines were either horizontal or vertical or they followed our grid to the one point whereas that was like that two point perspective there were two vanishing points and the lines either went to the vanishing point or were vertical there were no horizontal lines in that three point perspective only has lines that go to the three vanishing points okay it doesn't have horizontal and it doesn't have vertical lines so let's try that okay the setup of the polygon just to give us some guides was something like this make sure you're indenting the sides quite a lot making sure you're getting lots and lots of sides or lines really if you've indented it that much that's the basic setup and we're colouring. It's really important to colour these differently now. So finger on shift to constrain that. We'll go at the top and make this a colour. Right. Hopefully this works. Okay. All right. Let's change the colour. Has this worked? Yep. All right. We've got blue. We've got pink. Let's do another one at the top. So that's one, two, three. Okay, uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. let's do green. All right, hopefully that's turning up in the video. Um, all right, there are our three points. So polygon, just call that polygon three. Okay, I'll put another one up the top, another layer called drawing. So we've now got these points. So this can, of course, get confusing, but let's see how we go. All right, so that means when you're drawing with three-point perspective, every rule follows, sorry, every line follow these rules. They either go to this point or this point or this point. So when you have a building, one of the walls could be here, Okay, one of the walls could be here, one of the walls could be here. Now I've made this quite thick because there's tons of lines. And, like I said before, these really should be further away. Okay, so we're going to get a really, really distorted building here, but it will follow the rules that we've set up. So, these are what used to be vertical lines, and these are what used to be horizontal lines. So... This is what our building looks like. All right. So that's generally what a what a cube or something looks like. All right. In normally. So let's try that again. I'll thin the line out and I'll do some straight lines, and we'll see if we can get some intricacy in here. So the sides of the walls something like that okay another corner something like that and the top and bottom of these walls would do that okay so quite distorted because these um, vanishing points are quite close to each other all right so something vanishing off to the right is that something vanishing off to the left. Uh, sorry, it's all vanishing off to the right here, but if it's vanishing up, you get this. All right, vanishing off to the right, you get this. So, really, you've got lines going away from the viewer, essentially from this point. Okay, so this is the closest to us. And it is very distorted, but we're still following the rules. Anything disappearing up goes to that vanishing point. Anything disappearing to the right goes to that vanishing point. Anything to the left, that one. So that is essentially what we're looking at with three-point perspective. So let's do a window. Okay. Well, let's get back to our lines here. Okay. So, 
like that. Okay. There you go. You'd see a tongue. No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't see a tiny bit of this actually because this is where we are. So this is all above us. So we'd see the bottom of this and we wouldn't see that. So that is a window. A door would be something like this. Okay. So there's a door and a window. Now it's very distorted as I said because I can't push these um, these points out for miles here, but that's generally what we're doing. We'll do a little window in here. Um, so we're following the grids here, and then this one up to the top. Okay, so let's do a street corner. So there's a street corner, any vertical lines are going away from us, okay. so you're disappearing in three dimensions, okay, right, actually this, yeah this is a little bit out here. We should be following this a bit better. So that's sitting there a bit. Um, right, so let's have a look. That's a bit better. So it's all disappearing to the right, the left, or above. Okay. Now, puddle is much the same. Um, so we might not actually do organic shapes because if it's adhering to a 2D plane really um, it's going to follow the same thing so when you're doing guides you know well, when you're doing guides here you're essentially following the same thing okay so it's going one way or another So it's disappearing to the right or the left because it's flat along here. So if you were to do, if you were to do a puddle here, it would be something like that. All right, something like that. Anyway, there you go, something like that, and then you could do some nice dots or whatever that follow the follow the rules that you set up. So that would be like a puddle like that. Uh, let's do, yeah, say that there was a circle here. So let's set up, so we'll do it all in one tutorial. I'll do a circle here, but it is the same thing. Okay, I'll just do this very quickly. Essentially, uh, if it had some thickness and be pulled up a bit, then um, then it would be disappearing up to the top as well. But essentially, puddles and, and uh, circles and windows and things like that would, would essentially be the same. So through the center here, you know, it disappears off to here. Okay, and here disappears off to here. All right, so you can still do Still do circle like that. OK. 
okay all right but if it did have a thickness you would you'd be pushing this way okay So you get some weird angles in there. All right, so everything would follow that. So that would follow that, that would follow that, etc. Okay. So that would be quite distorted. So there's no horizontal, there's no vertical. Let's get a horizon in there. So that would be your horizon. Okay, and your poles, just to finish this off, your poles would be even that distorted. So you can see that these vanishing points need to be much further out. Okay, so let's try this, see if this works. Okay, so you can see the poles there. be really distorted but yeah that's that's really what they would look like okay let's do the top of the poles okay all right so this way it would be getting smaller like that but also this way it would be going like that up to the top so that's the difference with those so it can be complicated okay so so puddles shadows things like that would be similar I'll just finish off with a little bit of shadow uh, and that would just be the same Okay, although you wouldn't get that, you would get that where everything is following that. Okay, so your shadows here would be something like that. So... Your shadow would be in there, and then if it if there was a box or something here, it would rise up over there. Okay. These guides. Let's do this shadow. So, your shadow would be in here. Okay, it would be sitting there. The down ones wouldn't be, wouldn't be um, vertical. The only reason this is a bit more vertical is that it's actually just going up to here and following that line. Okay, if there was some sort of box here, there'd be a shadow underneath. All right, and that is, that would be where this line is following this, so that would be really stretched out like that. Okay. So that shadow would sit behind there, like that. All right. But then there'd be a shadow up here too, so this would come in, up and across, and this would come in, up and across. So really, you've got a shadow sitting on there as well. Okay, so... Whoop. And then you'd either do the shadow slightly differently, or...
or you'd you know pick up a little bit of that or something. So really this shadow would be across here would come up like that and this shadow here would be like that. So it'd just come in and behind but anyway regardless of all of that that's starting to get a bit complicated. That is generally where we're sitting with shadows, with organic shapes, and with all those polygons. Okay. So, three-point perspective. Three-point perspective, three vanishing points, one each side and one above. Okay, it does get very distorted if your vanishing points are too close together. You can still do um, organic shapes where you're trying to work out where centers are and things like that. You can still do shadows and all the rest of it. Uh, I'm not even going to attempt clouds because basically we've we've talked about cubes and things like that. But if you were to do a cloud in there, you would just adhere to something like that and do a cloud within that. Okay, you know what it looks like vanishing to the right and to the left. It would also vanish up as well. 